Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on the Shark HydroVac Cordless Pro XL. Now Shark did give this vacuum to me for free. So I really like this vacuum because out of the box, all you gotta do is snap this handle onto this base and it comes pre-assembled. Now the docking station, you're gonna plug in and it also charges the unit. Okay, so the cleaning solution and water are gonna go right here. You're gonna press this button. This is gonna pop open. You're going to fill it up to water with here, and then from here to here, you're going to put the solution. Here's the solution that came with it, and this is what Shark recommends. Okay, so the solution tank's got a nice big opening. We've got our water and cleaning solution in. Now you're just going to push it in until it snaps. Now after you've cleaned, this is where the dirty water goes, right here. So the dirty water is going to go into here, and it's got this little spout. You're going to pour out the dirty water right here, and you've got to take this filter off and clean this once in a while so it pulls straight up. And then once in a while, you are going to have to take this off, and it pulls straight up also. It pulls straight up like this so that you can get in there and clean that tank real, really good. It's got like an O-ring. You're just going to push it down until it seats all the way. Here's the filter, and then put the filter back in. Then tilt this until it snaps. So I really like that the brush head comes apart. Press this button right here. This cover lifts off, and then you can lift this brush head out and give it a good cleaning. There's where the solution's gonna come out and it's got suction. So putting it back together, there's like a gear here. You're gonna put that back in, line this up, and it should go in there like that. Then this cover has two little ears. You're gonna put the ears in and then rotate it until it snaps. Okay, so let's see how well it does cleaning. It's got two switches up here. So this is a power switch. This is what you're gonna use to turn it on and off. And this is if you wanna clean area rugs. So once you've got it on, you can press the area rug button and it'll do area rugs. And then down here is the control panel. We got battery status and it's going to tell us if the dirty water tank or the clean water tank is empty. Okay, so we're going to turn it on, but it does not have a solution button. It's putting down solution as soon as it's on. So turn it on. And then the whole time that it's working, it's putting its own solution down. So there's the solution coming down and it's got the suction and the brush are going the entire time. Okay, so there's after cleaning a clean floor, but let's put some egg and some different things on the floor and see how well it does. Okay, I got some egg, I got some chocolate syrup and some cereal. Let's see how it does. You're simply going to kick it over, put your foot there, hit the power switch. Wow, it did a really good job. We got some back here. Let's do the chocolate syrup. Again, all I did was turn it on. It's putting the solution down. Now let's do the egg. Okay. Did a really good job on the egg. I can just go over it. You don't want to go super fast because it's putting the solution down itself. So it did a really good job cleaning the floor. The floor is a little damp still. There's where all the dirty water is. And we, and we can see it didn't use much solution at all, but it did cover a big area. Now when it's on, you've got a battery status indicator. And you also have these two lights. If these come on, this lets you know that the dirty water or clean water tank is full. And if you put it in area rug, that's the area rug icon right there by hitting this switch right here. So Miss Fiona is wondering what's going on inside. Let's try it on an area rug. I've got some milk and cereal, chocolate, and an egg again. So you're gonna kick it over. This time I'm gonna turn it on and then hit the area rug button. So turn it on. I got the area rug button engaged. So I've got to go back and forth a few times to kind of clean the area rug.
So I would say for an area rug, uh, a deep stain, it's probably not going to get, you know, this is a little damp, so it is cleaning it. It did pretty good on the milk. Uh, the chocolate's got a little bit left and the egg's got a little bit left. Okay, so now here's what I consider one of the best features is it's self-cleaning. So you got to put it on the base. It's got to be charging. This icon has to be on. If you don't have enough battery, it won't let you self-clean it. You got to wait for the battery to charge. So if this indicator is not on, just wait for the battery to charge and then you can self-clean it. So with it on its base, you're simply going to hit this power button. So it does use quite a bit of solution to do the self-cleaning. Okay, so that took about almost two minutes. So make sure you got plenty of solution in it. Make sure the dirty water tank is not too full because it does fill it up quite a bit. So let's lift it off. Again, it doesn't get the base really dirty when it does the self-cleaning. And again, there's the charging indicator. The charging connection, very easy to put on. And then there's the battery charging. Okay, so here's the dirty water tank. It comes off really easy. It's got a nice handle. Again, you can pour the, the content, uh, contents out. Run some water in there. Slosh it around. But you're probably gonna have to clean this uh, each time. So lift the filter up. There's the filter. Here's this part. You can see there's quite a bit of stuff in there. Lift this out. Looks like there is a piece that comes out also. So this filter has like a cover. So take the cover off. You can take this out and give this a good cleaning. Now they do want this really dry. You're supposed to let this dry for 24 hours before you use it again. Okay, so let's put all these parts back together. Again, the filter, it's got like a little cover. They're going to put the filter. It is concaved on one side, so it, it will only go one way. Put it in. Now, this part did have something that came off, so this does come off. Um, so it's designed. It's got like a little track, and there's a little keeper right there. So put it in like this. It'll ride that track, and it should go up and snap right there. So that's what it should look like. And again, this just comes out. I like that you can take this all apart, get it nice and cleaned. Put your filter back in. And then these are kind of, this is the connection for the sensor. So when the tank fills up, there's like these two little, it comes down to here. So if water comes across there, it's gonna let you know that the tank is full. Putting this back on, very simple. Okay, so let's take a look, see how the self-cleaning did on this. Let's open this up. Again, I like that I could clean this some more if I wanted to. Let's take the brush out. So I felt like it did a pretty good job. There's a little bit of debris, a little bit of hair down here, but overall did a pretty good job. I feel like the roller is really clean. There's just a little bit of egg. I can see just on that right there. But let's put this back again. This is all really simple to put back together. Put those ears in. So I did have enough charge to do my kitchen and my both bathrooms. And then when it's uh, depleted, it takes about two hours to fully charge it. So I thought it did a really good job. Area rugs is probably where it struggles the most. But if you did have like a light stain or something and you got to it pretty quick, you should be able to clean an area rug, but it really shines on hardwood floors and tile. And I like that it's just one button. You press the button, it does all the work for you. It starts the suction, the roller, and it puts the solution down for you. So you're not having to press another button to put the solution down. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.